Hey y'all, welcome back to Blackmore Barbecue, where today we're doing episode one of our burger series. We're gonna start things off pretty simple with the quintessential smash burger. And as the series evolves, we're gonna to touch on all these different regional burgers. We're gonna do an In-N-Out versus Water Burger. We're gonna do Shake Shack versus Steak and Shake. We're gonna do all those deals and we're gonna cook them right here on Blackmore Barbecue. Today, we're starting off with Smash Burger Basics. We're gonna do two burgers. They're, they're gonna be essentially the same. One is just gonna be one I would wanna eat. The other is gonna be what my wife wants. She's pretty, uh, she's from California, so she's pretty biased towards the in and out model. So forgive me, we'll, we'll do the water burger in and out and do it justice in a later video. Let's talk about our burger accoutrement. Like I said, my wife's a California girl. She likes in and out and I really enjoy the in and out style kind of sauteed onions. I guess they're, you know, it's animal style there. So we're gonna do a riff on that. We're just gonna do some thin sliced onion. We're gonna saute this down low and slow and it's gonna be perfect. In future episodes, we're probably gonna take this and turn it into like bacon onion jam. But today, we're keeping it simple. The whole idea of this episode is you should, you should get the hankering for a smash burger, go to the grocery store, be at your house, and you're eating a delicious hamburger in about an hour. Let's talk sauce. I'm a big fan of taking your standard mayo, mustard, ketchup and mixing them all together to make one fantastic sauce. This is our starting lineup for today. We're gonna go mayo and ketchup are gonna be the base of this sauce. I would, we're gonna go moderate amount of mustard. I would usually go heavier. I enjoy that mustard flavor, but my wife doesn't. Pickle juice, shout out to In-N-Out. Some American soy sauce and some hot sauce to round it out with some fresh cracked black pepper. Let's get started on the sauce. Uh, I'll have an approximate uh, measurements and recipe in the description, but I don't really measure everything. I just kind of do it by color. I'm not gonna lie, my original inspiration for this sauce was a uh, Cane's Caniac sauce. We used to make it all the time at home whenever we do it Friday, which was usually where my family just fried a bunch of food on Friday. It was epic, you should try it sometime. Uh, and you don't have to, you can make this sauce, you can make a simpler version of this sauce. Use the ingredients you like to use. Just a little bit. Pickle juice. Some W sauce. hot sauce and we'll add our hey don't do that next time I next time I'll uh, get a bigger bowl don't tell my wife I did that get a little more red color hit it with a oh I didn't even realize this was jalapeno ketchup nice it'll be fine Katie add a little more hot sauce That taste. I think it's pretty solid. I would hit it with a little more mustard, but instead we're gonna hit it with some fresh cracked black pepper. And we're gonna add a little bit of MSG, just enough till Uncle Roger approves. Whisk this up. The MSG is definitely optional. I think MSG is delicious, so I like putting it in stuff. Let's talk about these sauteed onions. First, we're gonna go in with a knob of butter. I've got the pan running on medium heat. We're gonna go in with a little olive oil. We're gonna let that butter melt, get nice and brown, and then we're gonna go in with our onions. Pan's a little hot because we were I had it going while we were setting up the camera. There we go, everything's melted. And we're gonna go in with pretty much all these onions. I'm gonna reserve a few, because I like a little raw onion on my burger as well. This is probably the longest part of this whole recipe is just letting these cook down. It can, you can do it in 20 minutes, it could take an hour depending on how caramelized and how low and slow you wanna go. I'm gonna be a little aggressive with this and let these roll over a medium heat because I don't want to wait that long. I'm getting hungry. 
All right, guys, I'd say we're about halfway through here. It's been about 30 minutes. Onions are starting to get sticky. They've lost a lot of the moisture, uh, starting to stick down to the bottom of the pan. So we're gonna keep moving them every 15 minutes and we're gonna let this roll till they're nice and dark and caramelized and rich. We're about an hour, maybe an hour 15 in. Onions are looking great, they're sticky. I took, I sampled one off the end of the spoon. It's sweet. Just gonna make a little spot there in the middle. Just a, maybe a little more olive oil. We're gonna go in with some fresh garlic and just give that another minute or two to saute, get happy, add some flavor, and this stuff is ready. I'm about to go outside and start making the burgers. I rolled the meat into about third pound little balls and we're gonna smash those. I think for this style of burger, you have to have American cheese. So I try to I buy the most expensive American cheese I can find because it's all processed crap, but it's perfect for this burger. And I just try to find the best one. Eventually, we'll make our own American cheese because Chud's Barbecue has a video about that and it'll look great, but I'm not at that level yet. We're also gonna use Martin's Potato Rolls. I love these for smash burgers, they're awesome. Eventually, we'll make our own burger buns too, but I've tried twice and they kind of kicked my ass. So we're sticking with the Martin for these. Today we're cooking outside on the skillet, on the egg. I would normally do this inside, but it's, you can get a little smoky and it's kind of hard to film inside. So check the temp of the pan. We're sitting around 400. I'm gonna go in with some beef tallow that I've made and I'm gonna saute some jalapenos for my burger first. And then we're gonna start smashing. Our pan is ripping hot. I'm gonna toast our buns up real quick. Don't walk away. When your pan's this hot, you're gonna wanna pay careful attention to this. No one wants burnt buns. All right, now that we've got our buns toasted and our jalapenos grilled off, I just wanted to mention that I used butter to toast these. I like mayo also, but mayo I think usually gives you a little bit softer product. And I want this bun to be as crispy as possible because we're gonna put a nice greasy hamburger on it. Next, we're gonna grill these smash burgers up and we're gonna to try to live through this aerosolized capsaicin that we released when we uh, grilled off the uh, jalapenos. I've got my spatula right here. This is just a thick bottom uh, spatula. I've gone ahead and rubbed a little bit uh, beef tallow on the backside uh, so we don't stick. You could do this with parchment paper, but I just think it's kind of pain in the ass and I was no good at origami anyway. So we're gonna go in ripping hot pan, give it a smash, give it a shake so it comes off, give it a little pat, gonna hit it with a heavy dose of kosher salt, and we're just gonna let that rip and roll for about 45 seconds till we have the crust that we want. In crust we trust. I'm gonna go ahead and temp the pan because I just thought about that. Yeah, we're looking at 465. So we're definitely cooking with some real heat right now, which is good, which is what you want. You know, this burger's gonna cook in like a minute, maybe a minute and a half, you know. You're not cooking this burger for a medium rare. You're all about the Maillard reaction and the crust you get off this. Mmm, that is what I'm talking about. This is a little bit thicker patty, so I'm gonna go ahead and this will be mine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some of this onion raw right now. Let that kind of get a little steam action. And then we're gonna tuck it, we're gonna put this little cheese blanket over top. Right here, you can let this go. You could use a cloche to dome it up, let your cheese melt. Since we're on the egg, we're just gonna drop the lid for 30 seconds. All right, burger number one looking solid. Took a little longer with the lid down, so this time we're gonna try with the cloche. Patty number two, don't burn yourself. And if you do like I just did, play it off.
make it rain. Good night. All right. My favorite part of the show. I got shit all over my face. I need a second bite. I need to collect my thoughts for a second. We actually have a nice little medium on the on the burger. Not what I was going for, but sometimes you can't miss. I mean, it's this burger is simple. It's beefy. You've got the American cheese in every bite. It just oozes into all the little cracks and crevices. Sorry, I should probably wipe my face. That's disrespectful to talk to you guys like that. You've got the sharpness of the pickle that kind of bites through the richness of that Wagyu beef I got from my buddy, the Crooked Butcher or World of Wagyu on Instagram. And I mean, you've got the perfect bun. It's not falling apart. I think, I do think a double stack would have been a little aggressive for this bun, but man, this is awesome. You got the sweetness of these caramelized onions. This burger kicks ass and you can make it super, you can make the onions in advance. The rest of the burger comes together really quickly. Give this a try. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. It really helps me out. Can't wait for episode two of the burger series. That's a killer shot, okay? All right, Kay's gonna try hers, the California almost in and out burger. So it's cold. Okay, we were filming. Katie is my harshest critic. I may be better. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy. It's really hard to talk with your mouth full. The, the bun is getting a little soggy though. That's why. I like yeah. to eat it upside down. Pro play. She also tears the top, the bottom off cupcakes and put it on top to make a little sandwich. But um, the onions are really good. I thought you uh, put way too much on mine, but they're delicious. Oh, up. Katie is an onion hater and those sauteed onions are like the only type she likes. So trying to, uh, trying to get her used to them, so I may have been a little generous. Like, subscribe, comment.